Hi folks, this is all the fruit. I'm in the Botanic Garden of Marburg. And this tree here is Anona glabra. I even forgot what the vernacular name of Anona glabra is. Let's see. Yeah, they don't give any vernacular name. I forgot if this is the alligator apple or something else. Well, oh, definitely a pretty big tree. A couple hours ago, the gardeners actually harvested the fruit for me, which was still unripe. And then now, just 10 minutes ago, I saw this fruit on the ground. And then I left for 10 minutes and I come back and some rat has been at it. What a pity. The good fruit eaten by a rat. Well, I won't let a rat stop me from enjoying some nice anona fruit. I want to try this anona glabra. Hmm. Hmm. Almost no sweetness. Not a lot of sourness. It's mostly tangy, like a pine cone. Not too astringent, but like a pine cone. And slimy at the same time. A little bit slimy. Yeah, I really think Anona glabra might be the alligator apple or pond apple. Well, obviously it was good enough for the rat. I think I chased it away. So, yeah. Could also be a different Anona. Sorry that I'm guessing around here, folks, but here, by the way, is a seed that got spilled when the fruit fell to the ground. Yeah, I was glad I could make a, I could make a video of this Anona fruit because I haven't seen it very often. Yeah, pity this one was not really particularly tasty. Yeah. Now, the aftertaste is a little bit of soap. So first slimy, like soap, then tangy, like a pine cone, but also like soap. And now the aftertaste is again a lot like soap. Strange. I think this could really be the pond apple or alligator apple. Although, as far as I remember, the alligator apple had a different color on the outside. Well, the Latin name for sure is Anola glabra. So folks, Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the Botanic Garden of Marburg. Don't eat fruit which have been gnawed by rats already. Yeah, thumbs up to the great gardeners of Marburg. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.